Welcome back to Awful Movie Reviews. You know, it's movies like Terror from the Year 5000 that are so good in my opinion that they should never be watched. It's so thrilling, so entertaining that it deserves to be buried deep in the ground for nobody to find. I think I've had enough of your wild accusations. No, seriously, it's one of the worst 1950s sci-fi B-movies to come out at that time, which is why I'm reviewing it. I think you've lost your objectivity. But just before we get going, you guys know the drill. If there's a bad movie you'd like me to review, just leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you thought of this movie, and don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel to never miss out on another bad movie review every Friday and cult horror movie review every Tuesday. Not from my money, we won't. Terror from the Year 5000 is one of those countless films that preyed on the people's fear of a nuclear war. If I'm not mistaken, this is the first time I'm reviewing a shitty movie where the characters actually go watch another shitty movie. Two for the price of one, who would have thought? A pair of scientists in a secluded lab in South Florida are working on a time machine. As their experiments progress over time, they are soon able to communicate with beings from the future. They start exchanging objects, like statues for example. Well, maybe I've been seeing too much TV. They call upon a curator to take a look and see for himself, so he rents a car and off he goes to the doctor's secret lab. At the beginning, my dumbass thought that the makers just showed the same sequence twice in a row to make it look like if the guy was making his way through town, but it's actually two different vehicles. My bad. Just an optical illusion. No but one of the doctors named Victor is a real cranky pants with an inflated ego. He pursues those daring and dangerous experiments, even though they potentially have dangerous consequences for everyone. He winds up bringing back some woman from the year 5000 AD into his time machine, and she's pissed off. One of the real deal breakers here is that we don't see this woman until 10 minutes before the end of the movie. If she's supposed to be the so-called terror from 5000 AD, then honestly the movie's script really compromised it a long time ago. There's no terror here whatsoever. From the beginning, up to about an hour, we get stale acting, boring dialogue, and filler scene after filler scene. Man, do I hate those types of flicks. Along with Plan 9 from Outer Space, this movie really violates the laws of day and night contrast. Take this scene with the boat, for example. One shot, it looks like the characters are riding in the middle of the night, and next shot, it's already morning and nice and sunny, just before returning to a shot where it's pitch dark. With all these silly things to do. It also features some of the fakest punches I've ever seen in a film yet. Cool, yeah, that'll show him. Are you accusing us of fraud? But above all, what I dislike the most is how it was presented. It's around an hour and ten minutes long, and like I said previously, there's really nothing interesting going on. The film is just killing time until we reach an hour. At this point, the producers thought that they would give us some tiny climax, then wrap the whole thing up and voila. Well, there's no other possible explanation. If I explain it to you in a nutshell, this mutant woman wearing some disco suit from the future, she's from a dying race of people that have been exposed to too much nuclear radiation. One out of every five babies to be born with birth defects. She explains that she needs to take one of the scientists, Victor, back to the future with her, because using his healthy genes will be used to save her people from extinction. Now, why? Why? Why couldn't this be the focus of the movie? This sounds very interesting, it sounds entertaining, it would make for a good science fiction adventure story. Why didn't the film decide to explore the side of that story any further? Instead we get this tedious, dull and monotonous piece of shit where nothing happens. It finishes on a half-baked anti-nuclear war message about, oh, if we changed ourselves, if we changed the way we behave, then we can change the future, we can save the planet and mankind from a nuclear holocaust, and everyone lives happily ever after. This silly charade of nonsense in the end just amounts to nothing. It really just amounts to nothing. Anyways, that being said, what an awful movie.